Yes, you are now listening to Men of Faith in Action radio show. I'm your host, Justified, and we're bringing it to you today to raise awareness and create a community of love and to just open up dialogue to where we can share with each other as men of faith and share our stories and our testimonies. Proud to bring you this very first show. I see my co-host is in the building with us. Let me bring him on. Mr. Cocaine, are you with us? What it do, what it do, world, peace and blessings out there to the whole world, and uh, peace and blessings to you, Justify, for this one. You know, we need, yes, we sir, need yes, a radio sir. program today, like this. Man, I'm feeling good, man, just, you know, staying prayed up. And, um, you know, it's, it's time. It's kingdom business. And the good thing about this uh, program right here is that it's not subject to just any one particular religion. It's an open-up dialogue for people out there to... Get a testimony, and even for the ones that, uh, you know what I'm saying, it's kind of in the dark of things, it's always good to talk about it, you know what I'm saying, to put it in the atmosphere and let God do what he's going to do. So big ups to this program, first of all, big ups to, 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 to the most high because he's why we all here, you know. So, man, let's go ahead and let the spirit speak through us and, 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 and sharing that good testimony I'm excited about this year. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And what we've done through, you know, Mafia Radio, which is Men of Faith in Action, is just, you know, making a place to where we can all come together and, and dialogue about some positive things. You know, in life we all go through our own trials and tribulations, and sometimes, you know, when you're living life a certain way, you feel like you don't qualify for this love. And me and my brother Cocaine are here to let you know that no matter where you are in your walk with God, whether you've even started that walk, that he loves you and that he got open arms and is waiting for you to come to him so we just want to open up this platform to where we can you know share our own testimonies and bring our callers and listeners in to share theirs so that if somebody you know wants to experience the joy that we found you know what i mean that we pray that you know the spirit might lead them to you know want to make some positive changes in their lives well that's a beautiful thing to interject on that too you know um you know, it's time. Everything is time. It's Happy New Year to everybody out there. It's 2014. And it's like one thing that I know, you know, by witness, God never consulted your past to determine your future. People think you need to be so much of a goody two-shoes for no one on the planet he is. Ain't nobody perfect. But, see, this 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 radio station is a blessing and a seed out there because it's, it's tapping into the streets. We don't care if you're a gangbanger. We don't care if you're on drugs. We don't care what you're doing. God is very significant in your life. Bring it on and share your testimony because that's what it's about. It's, it's time to start perpetuating these positive things, especially coming from that suppression where we cut from, justify. we from that ghetto. And there's too many things that are going on in these inner cities from Chicago to L.A., Pomona, all across the USA, and it's time to, to, to go ahead and invoke the Spirit of God. So that way when we talk in language, they're going to look at us and relate to us, you know, because we talk that language. Sometimes it's not easy for, for, for when you're in the pool pit for, for sometimes people to relate, but we've been in the thick of, uh, of, of gangsters and, and people that didn't have not and uncles and aunties and, and broken down homes and was on drugs and different other things. So we got information that we can give to y'all that is going to be very inspirational, and it, it's going to allow you to think, think, think about life because life is precious. Just like I was able to touch on that song on the East Side is on Friends. Life is much more precious than you think, and we want to we want to do better because if you knew better, you do better. And God is everything. Without God in your life. And nothing possible. You will have a crash course like a crash test dummy. But even then, God will allow you to crash just so he can strip you and bring, it, bring you up and put his spirit in you. So today's topic is going to be exciting. It's about, the, it goes down, how has God impact your life? And bring it on. This ain't about, you know, you, you just, you know, going to church and this ain't about just the law. Yeah, I'm, I'm this and that. You know, God wants to use you. You know, he don't want to just use your good times. He seems to want to use your bad times. And, you know, that's what makes God great so important for us is that we hear, you know, it's people that, 
don't get a platform to talk on because society is, is, and Satan hand is involved into a lot of things that that is 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 just blowing blowing God's principles out, trying to blow God's principles out the water. But you know what? When God show up, he not only shows up, he show out. He is God. There is no favor. You know what I'm saying? That he is He is the one. We don't need, he, it's not like we're going doing God a favor. He came down on our level and said, look, I'm going to give you this and give you this, and I love you so much that, that I'm going to allow certain things to happen just so you can have a chance to enter into the kingdom of heaven. And I thank God for that, that he would pick a wretched like me, justify. And all my homies out there, you know, that hear me, sisters, he picked us, the have-nots, the down-and-outs, to go ahead and continue the mission. So without further saying, this is how has God changed your life, you know, or impacted your life. And uh, the first thing that we, you know, me and Justify kind of, talked about briefly before this this whole conversation started on the radio we uh we wanted to let the spirit flow through us it's not fabricated we're just keeping it real so if you can take take give a brief testimony of how god has impacted your life justify well for me bro you know i was raised you know in the church i had a, my grandfather was a minister my father was well versed in the bible and you know i was that child that grew up we had family devotion every morning you know before we went to school you know my father would read from the bible and we would all hold hands and pray so i can say that god has you know been a part of my life from the very beginning and that he has always been with me now, on the other hand of that, I have not always been with him, meaning that, yeah. you know, I didn't acknowledge or, you know, cherish the love that, you know, he provided to me by, you know, getting out there and wanting to do my own thing. And, you know, you learn, you know, through trials and tribulations, you know, you, you go through life. And, you know, I can say, you know, now that I know who he is and I have a relationship with him, I can trace back, you know, to some of my darkest moments and see that he had been there all along holding my hand through it. Otherwise, like Marvin said, said I never would have made it and um yeah. you talking to a brother yeah. you know back in 98 I had you know got stabbed in the back of my head 23 stitches you know laying on that deathbed and what nobody there but that voice you know what I'm saying inside of me telling me to hold on it's gonna be okay just let me use you you know what I mean so yeah. Being who I am in this music, I've always tried to incorporate, you know, his love into my music without, you know, so-called being a gospel artist. But, you know, making music that was positive, making music that shed light on some of the better things in life. So, like I said, God has been there for me when I wasn't there for myself. And it's just a blessing to be standing here and for him to have planted this seed inside of me to start a, a program like this, the Mafia, the Men of Faith in Action. It, uh, began, yeah. Yeah. it began as something, you know, brothers need somebody to talk to. Brothers, you know, sometimes the, the more personal, you know, embarrassing sides of our lives, we're, we have no place to communicate. And a lot of folks, you know, they go to their pastor or they go to, you know, whatever religion they're in, they go to the head of that and they share their problems. But, you know, it, fellowship is very important. And when I came up with uh, Mafia, it was to have a format to where my brothers is like me, from the streets like me, that have been through the things that I've been through, to be able to come together and talk about it. You know what I mean? And let our uh, individual testimonies, you know, move us. You feel me? So the Mafia yeah. is a great thing. It's inspired by God, and it will be something that's going to be moved by God. So I'm very excited about bringing this to the radio. We started out, you know, having a small men's group here in Victorville <clears throat> to where we would meet and, you know, we wouldn't, you know, read scriptures and, you know, have church per se, but we would just talk about what was going on in our lives and encourage each other using God and love as the foundation of, you know, the solutions to our problems. So I'm excited for this to be, you know, coming to the radio and definitely excited to have my big bro, Cocaine, as the co-host with me, you know what I mean? Man, pray, praise God for that, and that's powerful, fam, because I'm going to tell you something to interject on that. When, when you told me it, you know, it just instantly hit my spirit, fam. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, sometimes we ask God, like, who am I, God, for you to a point? But then God say, why not you? Just like he said to Moses, he said, why not you? And, you know, just to interject on that also to uh, share my testimony, 
you know, I you know, I will kind of speed it up on and basically in the music industry. Um, you know, when I was young Coca, so to speak, you know, it was exciting for me. This is something I wanted to do. You know, my dad was a writer and um you know, so it was in my DNA already. So, you know, when I seen Hutch and them do their thing and Easy E, you know, it was exciting because I was passionate about music, first of all. And, you know, you do these, do the music thing, do the music thing, but, you know, you never anticipate what comes with the music industry. And for the most part, you know, it, it's something that, you know, I had to go through as far as finding out who I was and what defined me. And it wasn't the platinum records. It wasn't um, the times I was just with the homie who I dearly miss, uh, Easy E. You know what I'm saying? It was about my walk and my road, you know, into something that the industry is attached to. And it's, you know, it's a lot, it's more evils that are perpetuated in the industry. So I went through my thing, and it's like monkey see, monkey do. You at the party, you doing this, and, you know, so I, I start entering drugs. And, you know, a lot of our brothers out there, you know, in the industry, they hide in the closet all day. They look functional all the time. They 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 kick it and smoke some pot with you and whatever. But all, of, all the time, they're on some serious business as far as drugs. So anyway, you know, I was always, it, 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 the drug part of it, it facilitated that pain, you know, pain that we endured, that we couldn't let go as children in our childhood and other situations. So, you know, I was always functional. I was always doing my work. And everybody would come around and be like, hey, people say I'm the life of the party because I have a drink of, you know what I'm saying? People love you when you got it. Everybody's partying and this and that, and, and you know, it came to a crash course, uh, like in the mid-2000s, you know, and, you know, I just did the last meal and did the chronic 2001, P. Diddy, Sergeant, and I was hot, but I was, I was missing it, you feel me, because I was a functional person, but I had a drug problem, you see what I'm saying? So God had to sit me down and strip me. And see, when God loves you, you know, don't look at it as something bad if you lose it all. Because I had to lose it all. Because you don't know God unless God is what? All you got. Well, God is all I had, fam. God and my family, my beautiful wife and eight children. Because sometimes we are too busy doing our thing, being narcissistic, celebrating ourselves. When God, when you're a child of God, and, and, and you totally turn your back on God. So when he stripped me for everything, first of all, I could have did two things. I could have went into a cocoon and got more into a darker situation, or I could have just said, you know what, I throw my hands back and I let go, Lord. You got me. And then I start to understand the, the, the ignorance and the, the wrongdoing that, that I was pushing out there. And it's not so much making a record talking about cussing or this and that, because that's an entertainment business. This is talking about yourself. You see what I'm saying? So time I let go and start worrying about why I'm going through this and how come I can't do this, then I invited God in my heart. Now, just because you got God in your heart don't mean that you got to uh, uh, not go through other trials and tribulations. But see, God wants to eliminate the strongholds in our life. And when he did that, I found out all the blessings that was missing, the things that meant platinum records. It wasn't being the most featured artist in the world. It wasn't none of that. But I couldn't realize that because I had blinders on. And it says, what is a man to profit the world to lose his very soul? I'm saying that's to say, that's been years of free and clear drug. Praise God. You know what I'm saying? Praise God. And all my stuff that was taken away from me, from publishing the different other things, God organized everything. All the things that, that we were handed down from generational curses like drugs and different other things and violence, God took it away. So if God did it for justified, 
God did it for me, and like the brothers Battle Cat and Big to the Boy coming on, he can do it for anybody. God never consulted your past to determine your future. In fact, he allows you to go through a certain thing just so when he gives you the victory, you can go back down and help the same person from the mess that God took you from. So I'll say this to say, you know, it's not where you're from, it's where you're at. And if where you're at right now, if you're rolling the blunt, drinking the beer, you love God, what it's about, because God is not just trying to make sure you follow the law, more so than he gets your heart. God got my heart. You know what I'm saying? And there's a lot of other things that we, you know, when God gets your heart, you want to change, like bam, 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 bam. But you can't be beating your own self up. You have to let the condemnation and the guilt go. You can't get caught into other people's religious ideas because it's not a personal relationship with you and people. It's a personal relationship with you and the Most High. And that's one of the things that I, I speak to my principal. Yeah, I got a lot of things I need to change about myself, but you know what? It is already done. You know what I'm saying? When the prophets came and all them, you know, and, and the Messiah said, and when it was done, it was done. It's finished. So those are things that we want to push out there is to give a testimony. Be, be, just, just pour your lungs. Spew out what you ain't never spewed out before because you never know who you're reaching on the other end. It's bigger than us, y'all. So that's why I'm here. That's why I justified here. And we want to challenge these other rappers, gangbangers, street leaders, whoever it is, to come down and first let's, let's have dialogue. Not to say who Jesus are. You white or black or Chinese or, well, if the Arabs enslaved us worse before the Europeans, are you Muslims, Christian? No, it's not about that. Because love no 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 religion, love no no color. So if we get this type of empowerment, it's it's going to have a balance. Because right now we don't have a balance, and it's not for us to fault these young kids out there are are, are perpetuating what they're acting out. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, I hope everybody is sincere. Well, it it it, it don't matter what you've been through or where you've been. You know how has God impacted? And I hope through this conversation and discussion that justify, it came to justify, and we all crusade and fellowship. We got to start making a difference, Lord. We y'all, we got to start making a difference, and it starts right here. Amen to that. Amen to that. And one thing that I've always, you know, I talk to all my people, whether it's artists, you know, that I'm working with, um, you know, on promotions and things of that nature. I always let them know, you know, where I stand in my faith, because without the faith that I have in God, I know that all the things that we make possible in this business would not be possible because Everything about us, he gave us. He made us. You know what I mean? So to be yeah. able to bring together clever rhymes and make them sound good, that's a gift. You know what I mean? No matter yeah. what your gift is, it came from God. And I've always um, wanted to impart to my, my brothers and the people that I deal with, give your talent over to God. Not meaning you got to go gospel, you got to say Jesus, Jesus, or Allah, Allah, whatever it is that you're believing in. You don't have to... You don't have to say it like that because it, it, it comes out in your actions, you know what I mean? So, because, yeah. you know, like you said, everybody to call on his name, you know what I mean, ain't going to make it yeah. because they're not really believing and living in that. So it's one thing yeah. to believe, yeah. but it's another thing to live it. Yeah, and you know what? It's like we, and we end it with this real, real briefly before we go on to some more uh, some hard felt songs for our brothers we miss like pocket them. Uh, and that's a beautiful lined up, Jay, you got for, for the audience out there. Um, we got to practice loving each other. You know, we have took word like love is being, you know, and that's how, you know, the enemy has brainwashed us as loving your brother or sister. Uh, love, just love it. It's something that's corny and wrong. And see, that's what the enemy wants. You know, he, 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 he wants you to, to stay ignorant and stay uneducated. Because he understands if you get this knowledge and knowledge and, 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 and puts you in the rapture and, and embraces you, then you start to see th th things different through God's eyes. Not meaning that you're perfect. Because them people that, 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 that turn around and act all perfect and judge and, 
this and that, they're so far away from God more than you know. They hold je- not only hold jealousy in their heart and, and different things, but they become carnal and kick God out the driver's seat. What we're doing is we want to reach the hoods. We want to reach the streets. The prophets were not in those high places and principalities. They was right here with us, y'all. So, you know, with that being said, you know, I love my brothers and sisters out there. And just because you love God, I didn't never tell you to be gullible either. Just because God fill you with that nice, that kindred, that, that, I mean, that, uh, that, uh, that sovereign spirit don't mean you don't, but in fact, you're a warrior. That makes you a soldier. You're a soldier. God, if you take care of God's kingdom business first. So, you know, without more, no, really no delay, that's it in a nutshell. You know, that's from our testimony from Justified and Jerry on this one, a.k.a. Cocaine. And we would love to, you know, to hear, you know, some more testimonies. And, yeah, it don't matter where you at. You know, how has God impacted your life or if you need help? You know, you know, the most important thing is when you can get together in fellowship. 